Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Bad Parenting, where we'll be playing as a child called Ron. He's going to witness the suffering that Mr. Redface brings to his family. And who is Mr. Redface, I hear you cry? Well, Mr. Redface is a fictional character created by adults to teach their children rules and behaviours. It's said that he often appears late at night to give gifts to well-behaved kids. Kind of like Santa then, or Jimmy Savile. You take your pick. And on that note, let's begin. Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But, but today's my birthday. Oh, oh, of course, I, I know that. I don't think Mom knew that. I don't think she knew at all. She's come home late from work. Forgets her kids' birthdays. Ah, oh, I mean, come on. And where's my gift? I like the stop sort of motion animation going on. I quite like it. Um, have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. Really? Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right away now, Mom. Oh, look at me. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working, and my shift ended late. Bullshit. You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Wow. Hey, little shit, get back to your room. All right, you golem-looking mother... All right. Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Okay. Uh, now I'm in control. Well... If I go to bed, the parents are going to have a little argument, I think. Um, look at him in his pants and his stained shirt. Look, look at your face. You're my father? God damn it. All right, then, adults. I'll leave you, and there's going to be no physical abuse, right? Good times. Good times. Look at the house here. You've got, like, an open-plan kitchen over here. The decor is, I mean, it, it's something. It's definitely something. Is this my room then? No, this must be the parents' room. And they're, oh, oh, they're sleeping in separate beds. That's, that's never a good sign. This must be my room then. This, this dark, this dark room. All right, so I guess we're going to bed. Listening to the plinky plonky arrival of Mr. Redface. And he's gonna give me a gift because I have been a good boy. I have been a good boy this year. So I want all the toys. That doesn't sound good. That sounds like thunder and lightning. And we hear some heavy stomping coming towards the door. Can't look around. Ah, Mr. Redface. Hi, howdy doody. How are you? Oh, okay. Oh, he seems to have a... Oh. Okay, Mr. Redface. You can, you can go in the cupboard if you like. Go in the wardrobe. Yeah. That's where my gift is. That's where you've hidden it. All right, we are back in control. Oh, he has left the gift. Oh, look at this. Is that the gift for Mr. Redface? No way! Oh, it looks like looks like me. Woohoo! Hi, I'm Ron! What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic! You even have some name and appearance as me. That's right. My master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. 
It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small floor compared to the other dolls. Oh, well, wow. what do the other dolls look like? What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. Woohoo! That sounds wonderful. You want to play something with me? Hmm. My master stored my toys in the closet. No, no, he didn't. He stored himself in the closet. Did you get them for me? Woohoo! Um, no. That would be a, that would be a firm no. Mr. Redface went in there. I don't want to disturb him. If he comes at night, maybe he's sleeping during the day. Ah, uh, see, there you go. Can't open it. The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? Woohoo! Yeah, I'm still stuck, my friend. I tried my best. I can't open it. You want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a dog. Can, can you even eat? No, you have to be the one eating. But I'll be able to feel everything. Oh, you eat. That doesn't sound good. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing. Is it amazing, though? So he can feel everything that I'm going through. So if someone punches me in the face, he'll be punched in the face as well. So he's like an emotional trauma toy. Oh. This is from Mum. You're reading this letter at 1pm, aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favourite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medicine after eating. Hmm, is that medicine as in... Does Ron have, uh, does Ron have problems? Oh, sorry. There we go, there's, uh, you're holding something else. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to put Dole Run down, is that right? Oh, there you go, you, you sit there and you look at the bottle while I get my own dinner. How old is Ron? I don't know how old Ron is, but, um, did we just eat this straight from the fridge? Oh, there's a microwave here. Ah, oh, there we go. I mean, he doesn't look and he doesn't seem to be taller, barely taller than the table. Oh, and here we go. No, we didn't eat the... Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Woohoo! Yes, please. Alrighty. I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. Wow, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. You never, you never go hungry ever again. Yum, nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Hey. Hey. Wow. That's amazing. What else can you do? Oh. He can, he, he has the power of telepathy. He can move things with his doll-like brain. Am I drinking this? Hang on. Is he is he making me drink the wine? Uh, is that wine or beer? Or okay. All right then. What? What just happened? I don't know. You guess. Oh no, the bottle. My dad's gonna whip my ass. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry, my master has taken your dad away. What, what did you say? Oh no. Mr. Redface has taken Papa away, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not that bothered about that. He, uh, he seems to be a pretty, pretty bad dad, you know? Where are we meant to go now? What is this room? Have we been in, we have not been in there yet. Can I go back to my room? Or I meant, that just close on me? Or maybe I'm meant to go and check on Dad, see if he's sleeping. Oh. I'm going to call you Ron Jr. from here on in. Um, so Dad was meant to be in here, but he's not. Where's my dad? As I said, my master is taking your dad away. <laughs> Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. But... This is too much. 
My dad didn't deserve that. He's a bad person. No, 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 he's not. Please, let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. What is it, bloody Narnia? Is that how Mr. Redface was getting around? Was he, was he like teleporting around? My closet, you say, not, not mum and dad's closet. Right, okay. All right, then. We're going to Narnia, it seems. Oh, but I, I, I'm, I'm loving the fact that you can just teleport yourself, you know? But this is the one that wouldn't open before. Is Mr. Redface in here? Are you, is this a trick? Are you tricking me? Ron Jr.? You better not be. It, yeah, it's still stuck, you see. It's still stuck. You still can't open it. <laughs> That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. Alright. Well, let's do that. I have a feeling that Mr. Redface is in there. Oh, you're back again. You should know that these closets can function as portals. That's what I was saying. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. <laughs> Give it a try. All right then, Ron Jr. Well, that doesn't seem... There's nothing in here. Oh, right. I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Dad's radio? That's obviously mum's side then. Ah. Okay. Place it in front of the... I just pop it down there? This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. <laughs> okay, it looks like trees of some description. Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. All right. Oh no, that, that's a that's a big no no. That's a big no no. We don't want the ring girl coming at us. Let's uh, change the frequency again, maybe. Ah. Is this, is this right now? I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Did I, I didn't, okay, I didn't really step in. I tried to go for another frequency, but uh, okay. We seem to be in the netherworld now. This doesn't look like Narnia to me. And who the hell are you? Um, okay, hi. Cat. What's up? I, I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My, my, my dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or bad Bruce? Well, my, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruces. More specifics, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Uh, sometimes he hits me and slaps too. Wow. And? That's all. The door is behind you. Is this like some weird clerical world? Hmm? I don't know, but there's fire here though. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> he just got startled! Who are you guys? Just like you! We're kids on our way to find our parents! We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? I'm sorry. I, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Is this like some weird purgatory world where lost boy kids go to play and have fun? Jesus. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Okay. 
dear. Oh. Oh. I know you're not a great dad, but um, I don't know what Mr. Redface has done to you. Yeah. Dad? Please, stop punishing me. Me, Dad? Please, stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home. Or Mr. Redface will take both of us. Please, stop punishing me. Alright. Hmm. Sorry about that. What are we what are we doing here? Oh, what's this? Spell. What's the sp what like a spell? Like it's written down? What was that? The f okay, I don't really know what that was. It looked like a massive hand or something. Oh, Mum's found us in the closet. Mum? Why, why is your neck doing that? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Is this real? Is this reality here? Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Wetface is taken dead. Oh. Well, that's a good thing then. I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How's your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? Hang on. The doll? Mum, how do you know about it? Yes, Mum, how do you know about it? Of course I know. Since you haven't taken your medicine today. Oh, it's all in, it's all in Ron's head, isn't it? He's hallucinating. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story. But the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No, apparently not. <sighs> I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. Hmm. So, apparently I've done this before, but we don't know what's wrong with Ron. What is wrong with Ron? Okay, midnight, you say. So am I just hiding in cupboards away from... Oh, hey Ron. Okay. What just happened, son? Are you alright? No, Mr. Redface came and choked me out like a... something. Well, Mum's taking care of me now. Do you feel better now? Yeah, Mum. It's Mr. Red Fa It's alright. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mum. I promise. Now, go back to sleep. Yes, Mum. Hmm. So... Dad's still in the void, in the netherworld place. Mom? <sighs> You've broken the promise again. Oh, she went to work. I mean, you got to pay the bills. You do have to pay the bills, but, um... So we have an abusive father who likes to hit and slap his kid. We have an absentee mother who seems to be working all the time. Um... Little Ron Jr. here. Oh. Up for you. Oh no. Oh no. What happened to you? My master beat the shit out of me. He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. <laughs> what? It just happened. I'm sorry I couldn't stop him. You should run away, because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I have to save my mom and my dad too. Ow, don't you see what he did to me? <laughs> oh, I was just rubbing my ass there. So this is the spell ticket or something. 
I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That, that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. Come on, quickly go into the closet to find where your mum is being held. So now both my mum and my dad are in the weird um, the void and Mr. Redface has taken them. Okay, I don't know how much of this is actually reality now. Um, I'm getting kind of Pan's Labyrinth kind of vibe. But, um, we'll go in. We'll see what we can see. And now I'm holding a ticket. Sounds like someone's crying. Most of the Lost Boy kids, they're just kind of sheltering behind a car. What? Are you, what's going on here, guys? Is she crying in the... Oh, you're here too. Is that mum? She seems to be crying. Vickery, throw the spell in here and take a cover. Oh, okay. I take it we're going behind the car with the other kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm generally liking the whole aesthetic to this game. It's got, um, it's... The, <laughs> the, the parents look kind of weird. Is that like a kind of Ghostbusters trap? Did we trap him with the spell? What, do, what are we saying? What are we saying, guys? Do we... Let's talk to the doll. Ron Jr. What do you got? No? Well, it's all dark in there now. So we caught Mr. Redface? Is that right? Do we just head back? Can't play in the car. The cat's not here anymore. Yeah. Getting the distinct feeling that none of this is, is real as such. I think um, Ron is is maybe needing some medication for whatever ails him. Um, are you even... Oh, you're, you're burning up. What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he cast in me is also fading. <laughs> are you are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. If Ron Jr. was like perpetually kept by Mr. Redface, like some kind of weird Dobby, then uh, yeah, I think the only way out is uh, being burnt to a crisp. So my parents. Okay. So is this... Hang on. Is this a loop now? Have we gone back to that moment where... Dad! Mom! You're all free now! Oh. Oh, just... just. You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you. I was busy with work. Oh, God. His eyeballs bulging out their sockets. They're out of their sockets. Liar! You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And what about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home, leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a whore, you're lowering yourself even below that. Wow, oh, another slap. Damn! One more word. Fine. You and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. She's gone. Mum has gone. Oh, okay. Hmm. Pops. I think I might just go to bed. You seem to have your drinking face on. Nope. Hmm. Alright. Let's talk with dear Papa. Oh. I see. This is the same thing that happened with uh, Ron Jr. when he showed us. This is... Uh, I thought he was giving us the drink. Yeah. The dad was Mr. Redface all along. I won't let this happen.
Oh, back in control. Well, that was a cutscene. Oh, dear. So, Mr. Redface is my dad. And he didn't give us a present that night. Damn. He killed us. Oh. That's why I couldn't open the cupboard. That's why I couldn't open the cabinet. Because I'm in the cabinet, aren't I? Yep. Yep. No. 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 This can't be true. I'm very sorry, Ron. Your closet. I think you're able to open it now. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to see what's in there. I don't want to see what's in there, Ron Jr. Oh, oh no. Is this the... me? Why don't I know anything about these? You've always known. <laughs> because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad. And me, I have to find a way to lead you back to the reality. I've tried many times, many ways to help you accept this truth as easily as possible. <laughs> and every time I fell, guess what happens? Tick tock, boom. Your memory resets back to the starting point, which is the night your dad murdered you. How long have I been dead? Fourteen days. It can't have been for that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in a cheap motel room. Uh, so that's why he was, um... He wasn't in the vortex. He was in the cheap... Yeah, there we go. Oh, but I'm, I'm kind of haunting him. I like that with my, my broken, raggedy neck. Go home with me, Dad. <laughs> what about my mom? She still sees me, doesn't she? That's right. Because she's only at home late at night. What? So, yeah, 14 days. Oh, but she left the father, didn't she? So, hmm. Okay. But if, it is, but if it is daytime. Huh? So hang on, the mum left, but she was still using the house, so she hadn't seen her son for 14 days? Is that what we're saying here? And that's her crying in the room, right. So when Mr. Redface came and took her, she was actually, I'm assuming these faceless people are at cops. Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? You just dropped something, ma'am. Ah, uh, that's the spell. Oh! So I threw in the spell, didn't I? Yeah, from the, from the Neverworld. Um, what is that? So what is the spell? It's a business card for a motel. But I'm not sure it's mine. So I'm sixth sensing my own murder here. So I was playing as a ghost the whole time, is that what we're saying? Killer father arrested. Open casket, eh? I don't, I don't think, um... You know, I was in the cupboard for like 14 days with a broken neck. Uh, 
I don't think my uh, my body would be looking too good for an open casket. Where's Ron? I mean, he seems okay now. Now I become Casper the Friendly Ghost. Go and solve crimes in the Neverworld. And look, yeah! The other kids, right? Oh, so that means, yeah, they, they've all been brutally murdered probably at some point as well. Uh, she's in the open grave. He was burnt alive. Wow, this is dark. And uh, locked in the trunk of a car. And I was in the cupboard. <laughs> He's waving at us, though. I think everything's... Uh, happy ending. The kids are in their Neverland world, I guess. <laughs> oh, dear. That, that was pretty dark. So there you go, guys. That was Bad Parenting, Episode 1. Um, it did say on the rollout that there is an Episode 2, which I'm looking forward to. There's a lot of um, heavy themes going on at play here. Uh, you know, child abuse, child murder, um, abusive toxic relationships, absentee mothers, vicious abusive fathers. Take your pick. Um, I like, you know, a lot of these type of games deal with these sort of themes very haphazardly uh, and very clumsily. I, I felt this actually is one of the few games, indie horror games, that actually dealt with this, with these issues in a kind of adult, sensible way. You know, Ron had his, um, Ron Jr. help him through his trauma. Um, he couldn't sort of hit him with all the facts straight away because he wouldn't accept it and it probably took him that 14 day period to kind of realize that he was in actual fact being killed by his father um who he manifested as mr redface so um yeah kudos to the developer on this one i, I really i mean it's heart-wrenching it's a heart-wrenching story um but it's the pacing of it's really well done i, I really like the fact that you know i was thinking that mr redface was just going to be this Santa Claus type boogeyman figure and in the end no it turned out it was the father um, they're going to the never realm as well or the the, the death realm um, sort of like Beetlejuice maybe um, and sort of being that kind of instigator of throwing the the spell card which turned out to be the business card for the motel where my father was staying at so that the cops could actually go there and catch him so I, I was essentially solving my own murder from beyond the grave beyond the grave woo. But um, yeah, no, I really enjoyed that. Um, that's, uh, yeah, that's a deep one. That, that went some dark places. But I hope it wasn't too dark for you. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. Um, like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub. Otherwise, I will curl up in a fetal position in my own cabinet until you do. Until the next one, stay ghoulish. Bye.